Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And today I'm going to show you how to control all of the variables associated with dark calibration frames and be able to capture them at your convenience and manage them in a way that you can reuse them over and over again, saving you time under the stars. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Now let's head on over and learn about dark libraries. Dark calibration frames can be very time consuming to take as they must match your light frame exposure time and realistically, you wanna capture an absolute minimum of 50 frames. This can take hours, but what if there is a way to avoid this tedious task every single time we went out to image? Lucky for us, there is. And if you're new in researching equipment, this might be something to consider when picking out your camera. So far, we've learned how to take dark calibration frames and also how your dark calibration frames must match not only your light frame exposure time, but also your gain, offset, and even temperature. We also learned in another video why we need to match these specific settings. So if you haven't seen my videos on these subjects and are curious, please check them out. I'll have links to those videos in the description of this video. Now that we know that we need to match exposure time, gain, offset, and even temperature of when we took our light frames, it may be tempting to think that we need to take our dark calibration frames either before or after we take our light frames in order to match the temperature. In some instances, this is true as this is a way to guarantee being close to the same temperature as when we took our light frames. And as I've shown in my videos, a few simple degrees can make a decent difference in dark calibration frame effectiveness. Not only that, but taking your dark calibration frames before or after your light frames can very quickly eat into your imaging time under the stars. There is a way to control all variables when it comes to dark calibration frames. Yes, I did say all variables that go into dark calibration frames can be controlled, which means you can take dark calibration frames at your convenience. You might be wondering how. We can set the gain, offset, and exposure time of our camera, and those will stay the same until we change them again. These are controlled. The next part is where equipment comes in, and if you're new and searching for equipment, this might be something to consider. Having a dedicated, cooled astro camera is what makes the dark library possible. These types of cameras have a tech cooling plate in them, which cools our camera sensor to a set temperature. We use this to set the temperature of our sensor when we image our light frames, and we do the same for our dark calibration frames. Now, our temperature is also controlled, and we can use this to our advantage. From here, on a rainy day or a night you're not imaging, you can pull out your camera, plug it in, and set up a dark calibration frame session in your favorite image capture software and take dark calibration frames. Just make sure to match your light frame exposure, gain, offset, and temperature. A dark library is simply a collection of these dark calibration frames that you can tap into and pull over to your light frames for post-processing. When it comes to a dark library, you'll want to keep things consistent. What I mean by that is avoid using random exposures, gain, offset, and temperature settings. For example, what are you more likely to use again in the future? 128 seconds with 76 gain or 120 seconds with 75 gain? In other words, when you're imaging your target or building your dark library, be mindful of settings you'll use again and again in the future. Take dark frames for all of your favorite exposures, gains, and offset and temperature settings and save them in a dedicated folder on your computer. Organize by exposure, temperature, gain, and offset so you can easily find what you're looking for. From there, simply copy the folder with the necessary dark frames and paste into your imaging project file and you're ready to use them. No need to keep taking dark frames every time you image. One word of caution, our camera sensors do age over time. So I recommend retaking new dark frames for your library every six months so you keep up with how your camera sensor changes and get the most efficiency out of your dark calibration frames. I hope you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up, 
hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Drop a comment in the comment section. Do you have any questions? Did you learn anything new? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.